In about an hour, I'll be celebrating the Easter Vigil here in Tolono, St. Patrick's. And a few thoughts to share. I think as we celebrate Easter and the Easter Vigil, I think it's worth thinking or reflecting on the entire uh, Feast of the Triduum. Because to think about Easter, it is the great victory. Jesus has won the fight. Uh, he has finished the race. And so I think a fair question is to say, well, we got to, what is the fight? Or what was the fight? And uh, did he win the race? Of course he did. Um, and what was the race? Well, I think as we look upon the cross, here's one example of a cross for you. Um, on the cross, yeah, that's Good Friday, but I guess to jump back to Holy Thursday, the celebration of the Eucharist. Uh, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter, it is one event, um, the Triduum, uh, Passion, Death, Resurrection, has to be understood together to make sense. So the Eucharist is intimately tied uh, to the cross, and the resurrection is intimately tied to the cross. Um, through the celebration of the Eucharist um, that Jesus did at the Last Supper, through suffering and dying on the cross, um, it all leads up to and points to the resurrection. And without those two events, um, the resurrection also too makes no sense, um, gives us some, some context. So we all love celebrating Easter and the many good thoughts and memories, feelings, emotions that we have from Easter. That's, that's wonderful. But I think it's also an essential, important, that we know it in its context, um, specifically Holy Thursday, the Eucharist, and Good Friday, the cross, so that the resurrection, the end of the fight, the final victory, um, it, it makes sense. The great power of the blood of the cross, the blood at the Last Supper, and how the resurrection completes um, those great mysteries um, in, its, in its context. So we give thanks um, for the great gift of the Eucharist, the great gift of the cross, the great gift of the resurrection. And so happy Easter uh, to you and your family and to your churches and communities. And he has truly risen.